Hey everybody, Pam at the Paper Outpost here. Hey, I have another yet unfinished project, lo and behold. And this one is a little bit of a different approach I'm going to take with this one. This is a, do, 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 about a 10 by six <coughs> uh, junk journal. It is a fabric journal that has a somewhat um, stiff spine. I'm thinking it might be file folders or cereal box, something like that in the back. Uh, inside, it has one signature. And what I'd like to do is add some signatures to it after the fact. Now, a couple of quandaries with this one is that the uh, file folder or the stiffening agent in the um, front and back covers. Uh, the, the good thing is they do not cross the midline. Not that it would be a problem because um, we can get through that with the crop dial big bite or you can punch through that with uh, pretty much an awl and a hammer or something like that. Um, but it runs very close to this signature. So there's a little room there um, and there's basically no room here. So I'm going to be facing those headwinds to see how we do uh, add these. Now, I don't think it's going to be a problem because this is flexible enough where I can just make the spine a little bit uh, wider in either case and I'll just reform it. It has some softituity to it. Yes. Okay, no, that is not a word, but it is today because it makes, it makes me feel like it's flexible enough that it can accommodate, wrap around the new uh, signatures that I'm going to add to this journal. So, first things first, it looks like I added pages that did not need to be cut because there was enough wiggle room here. So, I think I'm going to create two signatures to add to this junk journal. This is a, a quilted design. It, I sewed it around with a zigzag stitch to sandwich everything in, which sealed it very nicely. It has a muslin um, inner cover, um, a very easy design, and I pink pink, I, apparently I pinked it at the bottom with pinking shears and left the other, other edges raw and uh, um, frayed. And so that's how that was con constructed. But let's go ahead. Oh, and don't forget right now I have the mega, oh, if I can remember how to say this, the mega bonus, the mega bonus Christmas Fundle Bundle, which means when you order a fundle from my Etsy shop, which is a collection of 100 plus pieces of interesting paper for making junk journals, you also get a bonus 25 plus piece mega bonus, which includes a Gothic, German Gothic book page from 1833, which is over 190 years old. Let me have a quick peek at that. Okay, what that looks like. Okay, that's the text. It's very beautiful. The page feels very interesting. It's a very pulpous, papery, um, dry, porous, rough, cool feeling page if you've never felt one. There's going to be some pieces of calligraphy, a small fabric pack in there, and some collections. Um, there's going to be some Christmas ephemera, all sorts of fun things. I'll put a link to it in the description below if you're interested in that. Limited supply, jump on over and grab one for yourself before they're gone. Okay, there we go. Putting those over there. Let's get started on this part. Okay, I don't know where to put this. Here, put it over here. Okay. Uh, Sunny, he's around somewhere. Okay, so first things first, we need to make two more signatures. So I need to count how many pages are in here. So remember, when you do a signature, you take your full pages and then you multiply by four. And that's going to give you how many front and backs you have. Okay, so I have, see this one I made back in 2021. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, oh boy, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It looks like I, I shot for twenty, I probably got twenty-one or something, or I counted wrong, which happens. Okay. So they're chubbers. So what I decided to do was put a fatter signature. Normally I go between 10 and 12. So the question now is, do I go for the 20 and make it uniform? Do I just add 10s and 12s and make skinny front and skinny back? I think I'm gonna try for the 20. Okay, let's, let's see how this goes. All right, so I'm gonna show you one and then I'll count the other two so you don't die of boredom on the vine. Okay, so these are random papers. 
coffee dyed and whatnot book pages, things like that. So one, two, three, four. I stenciled these with coffee. Five, six. Okay. I'm in here. Seven. I love the ones that are like gnarled. I think they look cool. Eight. Nine. Ten. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Something from the ledger. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Okay. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Come on, one more. All right, this is kind of cool. Twenty, because it's got some purple in it, and so does the book. Okay, so there's one. This is what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to collect them all down one side. Now, I do have some written things in here, so I need to pay attention. So I want... They're going to be laying sideways, but I want them to be laying to the west. Okay, so heads to the west. Doesn't really matter, but I like it to keep it uniform that way, just myself. Okay, and grabbing my bone folder because I know I'm going to need it momentarily. Go for the ideal half fold, best I can. Tap, 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 get them all organized as best one can. And then start from the middle and fold out, fold out to get a nice crisp um, fold. Okay, now I'm going to do another one of these. So we have two. Hold on. Okay, so now I have uh, another page, 20 pages here, and I found this printed page on a um, calendar or a planner book, and I thought that was kind of pretty the way that came out. So I think I'm going to use that as my center page. So I, I think it was from my roses. Um, my roses uh, digi kit. So if you're looking for that, I will try and do my best to put the link down below. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do the fold. All right. Get them all nice and organized. Sometimes they don't. They don't want to play nice. You got to kind of talk with them a little bit. And it's like, all right, everybody, get in line. Yeah. Line up like little school children. All right. And get them approximated at the edges or bring the edges here together as much as possible. They're always going to be a little cockeyed there because the, um, the outer one doesn't wrap as far as the inner ones go, so there's always that to deal with. Okay, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try. But I have high hopes. High, high hopes. Okay. Okay, so now I have these two. So now I need to do some clamping and marking. So where is... Where, oh, where did the... Junk journal. Oh, here it is. Junk journal go. Here it is. Okay, we have it. We've located it. So I'm going to say, since we tend to st start in the back when we're placing signatures, let's start in the back and place the signature. Now, this one I think is going to be the most challenging just because it is right butt up against this um, somewhat softy spine. But I don't think it's going to be that bad. So we're just going to go in and do our thing. I'm going to try and use a marker so you can see our thing. Okay, so first of all, I need to see where the, the, the dots are, or the holes are. And I can barely see them, but I can see them here. So I'm going to place this maybe, oh, I'd say there, like maybe a quarter of an inch away. Just I'm putting some uh, strong looking dots here so you can see where they are. They're lined up with the holes. Okay, so now with these dots, then we'll do the same thing. About a quarter of an inch that way. I find the find the hole. There it is. Make sure you get the right place, ma'am. Okay. 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 Right about there. So I have my hole placement is now ready. So I'm going to grab my crocodile two big bite, and I'm going to use the one eighth or the little hole puncher thingy. I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to punch those holes. Make sure I don't get into that purple ribbon there. 
and I'm just punching over the hole directly. Let's see if I can do it here. It's already constructed. In my mind, it all works great. You know how that goes? And then in reality, sometimes things go differently than one has planned. Ah, no, nah. it's like a daily thing around here. Okay, get in there, get in there, little doggy. And it wiggle, and it on the dot. Okay, oops, okay, stay there. I'm gonna turn it around. Now, I'm, I'm thinking to myself already, check the signature you already have sewn in there, Pam, because you may have an orientation already predestined in this book. Okay, let me just finish punching these holes. We'll get through that part and then we'll figure out where is the true front of the book. Very important. Probably one of the most important things that will save you so much grief. Um, uh, sometimes, if you just have blank pages and a uniform cover all around, doesn't matter. You can put it either way. But if you have a design or an orientation or... Oh, I'm going through stuff. That's the problem. See, I was trying to go through this. This is why it was hard. So I had to move that out of the way. Okay, so there's our encountering of our first little thingy. Now we're going back in for attempt number two after rectifying the thingy. Okay, I think I'm over the thingy. Am I over it? I hope so. This is where she needs glasses. Okay. Huh. Not exactly. Not exactly, but not bad. And I should I should have taken this out. Okay, we'll see if it works anyway. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. It gets interesting and exciting. Let's see if this works. Okay, this one is much easier to align. And ba boom. Okay. Now that one. How far off was I? Yeah, I was a smidgeroony off. I might even, okay, so this is, I'm going to show you how far off I was, and I'm wondering if it would be advantageous, because this second hole is going to be covered by the ribbon, so this is where I actually punched. And that's not really that bad. Actually, I think I'm okay. I, I, thought, I thought I was over here. I think, oh, I, apparently I punched twice. I did go through the first punch, but my second punch was more accurate. So we're just going to leave it what we call as is and carry on. Okay, so that, that's how that panned out. Okay, so the orientation I can see that has already occurred is this. I put this in 2021, it's this way. So I was telling myself that this is the front of the book. Because if, if, this, if this was that way, that'd be upside down. So this way means this is the front of the book. So I am going to put, how about something really fancy, like a, a, a copper hair clip thingy. There. That's my front of the book. Front top, okay, has now been identified. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now, 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 we are going to take, hmm, which color should I use? Pink or the first one? I like this one, I think. Um, okay, so here is our first signature in process. I'm going to clamp the top. I am going to clamp the bottom. I guess I just want to clamp it just to get myself or organized here. Okay. I don't even know why I did that. It made no sense. Okay. Take that off. Take that off. All right. Now we're going to, we're going to make sure it's all tight, pushed together. And we're just going to, we're going to clamp this. We're going to clamp this. That's what we're going to do. Now we know what we're doing. We're going to refold the spine. Make sure it's nice and sharpy sharp. Oh, wait, you know what you got to do? We got to test this to know which is the front top. Okay, we're going to look now because we have to look because there's writing in here. Oh, look it. Yeah, okay. Is that right? I think. I think I want to turn it around because this writing is that way. So I just this way. And then this writing is that way. Yeah, so heads to the west. Heads to the west. That's the way it goes. Okay, yeah, that's all right. Just take a quick look, see? Head to the west. Head to the west. Make sure all your, if you did stencils, that you, okay, so this one's the other way. Oh, look at that, that one's the other way. Okay, somebody needs to go through here and fix all this. So these three actually have to turn around. So this is the kind of thing that you want to check for before you punch your holes, before you do any measuring. Let's do a quick check through. Everybody's oriented in the right direction. Is that what I thought I saw? Are you right direction? 
Yeah, okay, I guess you could have gone either way, that's all right. Okay, well, won't fuss on that. All right, well, now we're good. Okay, so now we're going to tighten this up. Cl okay, now we're going to mark it, because that's what we do. Top front. Here at the world, we are announcing this is top front, top front of the signature. Okay, now we have that. Now we're going to clamp this. And we're going to clamp this. Okay. And now, okay, top front. Okay, remember that. So keep it top, top. Okay, flip it over, turn it this way, and then we're going to make three, we're going to align it with this guy below it so it's in the same orientation. We take that beloved marker of ours. And we are now going to butt up against these three dots. Okay, and these three dots, we're going to make a little mark on the back of the spine of this one, aligning with where those three dots are. Okay, so we have that now. We can all breathe a sigh of relief. We're not going to move too much in case we get, we get, wait, I think something's wrong. Oh yeah, top, top, okay, so something's wrong. We got to flip, flip this baby over. Yes. Is that right? No, because this is but we're supposed to be working from the back. Okay, this is what happens. Okay, so now we're going to completely kibosh that entire plan. We're going to go this way. This is the back. This No, we said we want to do the front one. Right, so you, you don't fit there now, do you? Do these dots align? I don't think so. No, they don't because I had it upside down. See, that's exactly what you don't want to do. Okay, so... We're going to make new dots on here, and we're not going to use the marker because those are the wrong dots. So we're going to use a different marking device known as a pencil, so we know which dots to go for. And I'm go I am going to do the back one first, and apparently this is not the back one, and I am aware of that just now, so don't worry. Okay, we're going to line these again um, with the sides of the one below it, the signature below it. I'm going to come in here, we're going to make pencil marks, and you have to make them pretty good. So you can see them. Don't be, don't be wimpy with your pencil. Okay, I'm going to show you what I got. This is how we get out of those tight things in life. Can you tell the difference? Boy, it all looks the same, doesn't it? Okay, so what I'm actually going to do, because I'm sure where my pencil is, I'm going to circle around it. I'm absolutely sure that's my pencil and not my marker. So whatever you have to do to make it, you can use a different color. That's another thing. You could use a red pen. Um, anything to denote the actual hole, the placement that you want. So that's how you get out of that little wiggle. So this is going to lay like this. And then we're just going to put this one over here because we're going to do the back one first because that was the original plan, silly pants. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab our little signature. Tap, 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 tap. We're going to re fold. Nice and crispies. All right. And I need two more clips. Okay. Here I am. And the first thing I need to do is orient to get my, my, uh, top front looking for anything written. There's something. Okay. This one is that way. So that is correct. Is there anything else in here? No, I think that's it. So this is, this is top front. So let us go ahead and mark that with, a, um, a paper clip. We'll do wonderfully can find a single paper clip. Big one, little one, doesn't matter just as long as you identify top front. Okay, now. Got that, I got my top front. I've recreased my fold. And the better you crease your fold, the, le the flatter your book will lay. Okay. And uh, now I'm just gonna, I couldn't find the other clip, so this is one of these clips. I'm just gonna stick that there. We'll stick that there so you have options with your clips. Use what you have. Okay, there we go. Top front. Okay, this is the way the book correctly lays. Here's my orientation marker. Top front, top front. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it is top front going to lay like this. So now I'm going to turn the entire project this way. Okay. And I'm going to fold it this way because this is what I want to align with the holes. I'm going to align it with the bottom signatures. Push it closer to the dots. 
so I can see where to put my little marks. I'm going to use the marker again because I can see it better. Okay, one dot, two dot, three dot. Okay, so now everything should go smoothly, she said, tepidly. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's going to be the back one. And this is the front one. Okay, so we're going to put the back one in first. So we're going to get some uh, string. You can use embroidery floss. You can use um, all sorts of different things. I, I like to use waxed um, thread. and uh, Waxed thread. Waxed string, I guess it is. Uh, let's see. Okay, maybe the green one. Green is nice. Wait, let me ask myself what I used in this one. It would be nice to have it to be cohesive. Oh, I used uh, sari silk ribbon. Look at that. Huh. Maybe I should use that. Oh, I don't even know if I have that one anymore. Let me look. Okay, so I apparently do not have the same exact color anymore, so I'm going to go with a complementary color. Um, well, I have two choices. I have this burgundy, which I don't really think works, but I do have this softer, kind of muted lavender um, brown, I would say, and I think that sort of complements it. So I'm going to go with that one. One thing if you're going to use sari silk, which is uh, torn up saris from India, and they repurpose them and make ribbons out of them, S-A-R-I. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice option for threading, or you can also use the string. I'm gonna try this to see if it works. Um, and one thing you wanna test is the integrity of the sari silk, because sometimes it's not strong because they've worked it or cut the fibers in a certain direction. So you want something that has tensile strength so your journal doesn't come apart. So give it the old test -roo. This one seems good. We're gonna go three times the height. A one, a two, a three. Oh, you know what I see? I see I combined it with a waxed linen thread. And what, what a great idea, Pam because then you don't have to worry that your sari silk will come undone because you have the backup of the linen thread. So I guess I used both. And um, now I'm going to go back with the wisdom of my age and grab the brown, the same one, the brown wax thread. And I'm going to... Find the end, find the end. Oh, okay, here's something. This looks like an end. I'm going to be here for an hour trying to find the end. It's, oh, it is. Yay. Okay. So I think I need to do this at the same time. Did I already count that one? It doesn't look like three. Well, we'll try. Okay. Oops. Now hold it together, sister. Okay. Oh, come on. All right. Here we go. Let's, let's make this longer. Okay. So we have something to play with here. Getting all excited. I'm hoping it works. I'm hoping it works. Okay. Right? One two, three. Boy, I shorted myself there a little bit, but I think I'm going to be okay because the three actually gives you a little extra to work with. Now we'll have to get that one longer. Okay. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Let's try this. Put everybody in their place. Thread these babies. You want a big eyed needle, like a yarn or darning needle or big eyed needle. Hang on, picking up the big eyed needle. Big eyed needle. Um, and try and get these babies through here together. Maybe do the wax thread first, because that's going to be an easier one. And then do your best to get any little sliver, sliver of that through. Okay. All right, so we just pull the tail through. Okay, here we go. Now, put that aside because we have nothing to sew yet because we have not punched the holes in here. I, I do realize that. Okay, we're going to punch the holes in the back signature with the crocodile too big bite. Okay, we're going to take those off. Find true center. Okay, make sure everybody's aligned nicely. I'm just going to use these to keep the pages together. Why else do we do the punching? Okay. Now I see my dots. Okay. Okay, this is the one with just the, the way it should be dots. Okay. Crocodile 2 Big Bite. Going to use the same puncheroony, the small one, 1 8 hole puncher. 1. This just takes all the pressure out of making the holes for me. I don't know. Like Doing the holes without this tool is so much more cumbersome. Um, this is just, I don't know. 
Gives you a strength of a thousand peeps and you're good to go. And you got your holes. Okay, so let's sew in the first one and just see how this all goes. This is the most difficult one I'm doing first because it's the back one and I have to go through the spine. So we're gonna do the three hole pamphlet stitch. We're gonna cross our fingers and hope all goes well. We're gonna go through the middle first, middle of this, middle of that hole. Where's that hole? Okay, we're gonna look for it on the back with all this nonsense back here because we, okay, that's good. All right. My, you don't want to like accidentally thread a ribbon or something, so pay attention. <laughs> okay, now you're gonna have to do some Yankee pulling here because this is uh, a little thicker than normal thread. So just to get the whole enchilada through, it takes a little wiggle. So sometimes if you make the hole a little bigger, it's your friend. Okay, and then you can also, when you can't get it, you can grab a pair of pliers. These can also be your friend. <clears throat> almost, almost. I made. Oh, I hear some. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go. That's what you got to do. All right. And now we're through. Here's the tail coming through. Now leave enough tail. Don't pull it all the way out or else you're going to be sad. There. Leave about that much. Okay. So now we don't need you. You go over there. You're like in the way and confusing me. Okay. So now I'm on the back with the needle. I'm going to go to the north, the north hole, the north back hole which is here, I can see it. I'm going through the cover and I whip over this way and I'm aiming for the hole in the signature. Now I have the top one anchored in place. Same situation, make the hole a little bigger, make it your friend and then grab backup tools as needed. Go slow, go gingerly, just keep working it through, almost through. There we go. Okay, so that's how you do that. Okay, and you don't have to use the thicker sorry silk ribbon. You can just use regular thread and things will go much easier. But you know, hey, we're, we're in the mode of trying fun things. What is that? Okay, I thought so. That is from the original Mittel. Is it? I don't know now. What is that? That should not be here. What are you? You look like you belong to the first. Yeah, I think, yeah. You're part of that original one. So. Don't get yourself confused, okay? Now we need to pull something tighter because I'm getting myself confused, but no, we would never do that. No, 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 no. Okay. Here's the brown thread. Pull the brown thread tighter because that's loose. Double check, it got tight in the back. That's from the original one. And yes, it's now tight. So those other little pieces are just from the original one. Pull it back a bit because now we don't wanna, we don't wanna lose this tail. Did I tell you don't lose your tail? You do not lose your tail. You'll be so unhappy if you lose your tail. Okay, so now these are not the same. Let's pull the brown one. Okay, and the brown one must have gotten shorter here. Okay, so we're we're pretty much, eh, we could probably, yeah, make it a little shorter. Now these, these have evened up. These are better. Okay, I can now breathe. Top, top, oop, top, bottom. We're going for the bottom hole, and then we're going out the bottom hole in the, uh, cover. So, yep, this, this is actually what really happens. This is the way it goes. You can make a thousand journals and still end up like this. You know what I mean? Like, is this going to work? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know that's, that's it. The joy of junk journals is just you, you keep testing your boundaries and seeing what else you can do. Okay, we got that. Okay, did I get it all? I don't know. I feel like I, no, yeah, there's lots more. Um, I had to do the, I had to do the sorry silk, didn't I? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, pull either side separately. No, what are we stuck on? We're stuck on something. Okay, oh yes, what do we have a little bunch of Rooney here. Okay, so this is, this can happen. You don't want to jam the whole bunch of Rooney through. That's too much bunch of Rooney. What's going on here? Okay, why do we have a piece sticking out? Oh, I think I know what it is. It's the end of the tail. So let's pull the one, and it's not that one. No, it's not that one. It, which one? It's gotta be one. Oh, something's come, oh, we're through. See, see sometimes you just gotta do a little of that Trying to figure out what's going on, and then you figure out what's going on. Now we're double checking to see if it's, no, it's not taut. We have our original tail. We're pulling this one. Taut. Tearing, but not tight. And, uh, oh boy, I am sweating. Um, <laughs> now I'm going to go through the, oh yeah, this is going to be joy. I'm going through the middle again of this already jam-packed hole. It would have probably behooved me with, since I realize now that I'm using the sari silk, instead of using the 
little puncher. You see it right there? The one eighth. I should have moved it one notch to the right and gone for the three sixteenth. Had a whole bigger hole and life would have been easy. But no, 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 no. I had to do it this way. Okay, so we're already in the game here. Let's just see if we can complete this. Oh, okay, we might have to do a part two. Okay, so let us give this a rest because I need a coffee. And um, we'll come back on the next video. Maybe we'll complete this on Friday. That would be good. And um, then you can see the whole thing together. Okay, so stay tuned. Where's Fluff Pants? Fluff Pants? Are you present and accounted for? Fluff Pants. Where are you? I think he's on the bed. Are you on the bed? Oh, yeah, he's still in bed. Hi, are you still in bed? No, you, you have a pup date. Oh, you, you were just back in the sack, were you? No, no, we're gonna have none of that. No, you're on the job. Yeah, you, you had to punch your card early and apparently you were sleeping. Um, so I don't know how you're gonna explain this to everybody because you're supposed to be on the ball. Okay, sorry, we're back. All right, I had to find him. All right, and hello everybody, it's Sunshine, yes. No, I was, all right, I was sleeping. It's true, yep, I can't hide it. I was definitely sleeping. Okay, so, um, Cub Pup Reporter Sunshine here reporting from the sleepy bed at the paper outpost. Um, mother is reworking some projects, forgotten projects, breathing ba life back into them in some way, shape, or form. She really has no idea what she's doing at this point. But she's hoping it all works. Please cross your fingers and we'll, we'll stay tuned to see how it all turns out. Take care, everyone. Happy crafting. Craft on. Sunshine out and back to bed. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's fair. We all knew that was going to happen. Okay, so. If you don't know, welcome, everybody. If you're new, if you've uh, been here a while, welcome back. Hey, we are having fun. Uh, our videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. I have a free monthly email newsletter. Um, you get a free digital image, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, and a page list of ideas to how, on how to break a blank page. I have an Etsy shop where you're going to find my journals and bundles and kit, kits and fundles and all sorts of fun things like that when they're available. Right now I have the mega bonus Christmas fundle bundle kit, which is a very limited supply, so grab yours while they are available. And also... Um, I have a print and mail service. Um, oh, I, have, I sell digikits. And if you're interested in digikits, you can print out uh, themed pictures of different things. So here is one for Thanksgiving. There's five pages in each. You can print them out and make journal cards, journal talks. Here's one for Pussy Willow. I like that one. That's one of my favorites. And uh, there's uh, all sorts of categories. Um, if you don't like it to print, if, it, if you don't like it to print, or you, you don't have a printer, um, then you can um, ask me to print them for you. Just buy my print and mail option, and then give me the names of the 10 digikits. You give me the names by either Etsy messaging me 10 digikit names, I only need the first two or three words, or um, email me at Pam at the Paper Outpost, your list. I will print those out. You're going to get 50 printed pages on nice light white cardstock. There you go. And I also have an Amazon shop. If you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here on the Paper Outpost, I try and put links in there for you. It is an affiliate link. It does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items for using my links. Thanks. And um, I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a sweatshirt, t-shirt, zip hoodie, mug tote, or water bottle. Yes, great for Christmas time, a gift giving, friends, family, or self. And also, you can find me on social media, on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there, doing weekly and monthly challenges. And remember most of all, that fun, well, can mostly be simple. Sometimes there's a little wiggle room for with that phrase. And create with reckless abandon, everybody, until I see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.